Hi everyone, welcome to the second of the videos on installing and running Red Hat JBoss BPM Suite and few service works in a Docker container. In the first video, I showed you how to install the two products based on Docker files which I provided via GitHub. In this second video, we will take a short look in how to start the two images, how they are linked together, and uh, we'll do a quick run through a demo case in uh, BPM in a process which makes use of a web service which resides in few service works. We will continue where we left from the last video. So let's take a look for the available images with the command docker images and you can see the five images which we created which built upon each other. So let's see if we have anything running with docker ps you can see if you have running docker image uh, instances or container and with docker ps dash or minus a you can also see if you have some suspended ones so we are all clear, all empty, and can start um, working. Let's take a look at the start script that I provided. You will find two lines in it. One, starting the um, Fuse Service Works image, the one with the web service provider deployed to. And you can see here that we're doing two port mappings, it's just for simplicity reasons, we're um, forwarding port 8080 to port 49260 and the admin console port 9990 to 49270. So what we're also doing is, I'm with minus H, I'm injecting a host name into the uh, running container and with minus minus name few service works i also give a name to the um, container the second line in uh, the start script runs the bpm image and here's a little trick in it as you can see it's also named with bpms and you'll find a new argument which is minus minus link few service works double point few service works which creates a link of the running image with the name few service works into this one which resides in the for example etc hosts file of getting injected with the host name for few service works and its created IP address. This enables us to directly communicate from the one container into the other. All that's left now to do is to start or run the start script for the two Docker containers to be started. Okay, now with docker ps we will check if they're up and running and uh, it seems like they are with docker lock and the container id you could look into the written log files but we will skip this now okay now let's go on localhost with 49160 slash business central and log in with uh, the credentials p steiner change one to underscore me let's go into project authoring of the console please make sure that you're looking at the right uh, repository and project we can take a short look at the business process that we're going to run and I will make a 
video later which goes into detail of the process. We'll deploy it from the design time repository into the runtime repository. That's successful. And now we can go and start a process instance of our just deployed process. So we go into process management, process definitions. There you have your process. Go on start. You can use more or less all the predefined data that is provided here. And start a process. Now that the process is started, we can take a look at process management process instances and we should see our just created process instance, which we can inspect and, uh, for example, look by a process model at what stage the process is. And you can see with the red circle that we are in a certain stage. We go into the task list see that there is a group task waiting which we will just grab and work and you can see that a new number which was created by the web service got injected or more or less calculated sorry so we accept what is provided we can again look in the process instances what um, the effect on the pro running process was and you can see that it got forwarded from one stage to the other so it apparently is not a fake that I'm showing you here it's really running we go back in the task list and just work on the last step of the process that needs to be done so that is a quick introduction in how to uh, use this demo and uh, a more detailed one will soon follow. So, as usual, stay tuned.